Welcome back to another episode of Gargle News by Gargle Snacks House. The gaming news has been quite dry for a bit, so it's been a while, but we uh, got what we can for this week. Starting, we have information about the Fallout games due to heightened popularity, the Sea of Thieves Season 12 update, Assassin's Creed coming to mobile, and some new information on COD like new releases, rank changes, and updates to Warzone. Starting with Fallout, uh, there's a recent rise in popularity around the Fallout franchise due to a new Fallout show on Amazon. Bethesda, in classic fashion, is trying to capitalize on this. I've also been seeing a lot of Fallout-related YouTube shorts lately. They are beefing up Fallout 4 with the next-gen update, conveniently at the time of this new popularity. It honestly doesn't even seem much like much of an update to me as the title would lead to. It is uh, just a normal patch, and maybe a small update that doesn't live up to the name. It also adds a free DLC that gives access to Bethesda's Creation Club, which is a paid mod initiative, essentially like Steam Workshop, but paid. So it's not even new stuff from the developers, it's from the community. And get this, they're paid and not plentiful, they're pretty small. And they are also hosting an event on May 14th to Fallout 76, being the Invade from Beyond. It is an alien-themed activity where you can get the most powerful pistol and other loot. Also conveniently timed with the Fallout games becoming more popular. They are very much trying to capitalize on this. Season 12 of Sea of Thieves has just arrived. Uh, a new weapon is being introduced called the Double Barrel Pistol. Uh, it's said to have less range and less damage output than the current Flintlock, but the upside of it is two shots in rapid succession. New ammunition for the cannons are coming out, as well as a new throwable item. Uh, there's also a lot of new cosmetics coming out, and oh, like clothes, tattoos, sails, cannons, and all that kind of stuff. Overall, there's a lot of cool things being added, and I'm sure you'll see us doing a video on Sea of Thieves uh, soon, for sure. That actually sounds really fun, and I am so excited to do that. Um, Next, in an odd terms of gaming news, on June 6th, Assassin's Creed Mirage will be available for iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. It is very odd to see AAA games coming to mobile as much as they have lately, but I guess that's the way things are going with phones getting more powerful and companies wanting to tap into more markets for more profit. There are other games like Resident Evil and Death Stranding that have also come to mobile, and Assassin's Creed will allow for cross save as well so you can save a campaign on multiple devices which to me is crazy because on a different device is a completely different experience um it is 50 dollars in the app store which is insane for a mobile game so i'm wondering if if you buy it in one spot it'll go to all of them because if you had to buy the game for 50 dollars on every single platform that'd be kind of insane and defeat the whole entire purpose of there being cross save um we should also be expecting to see Assassin's Creed Jade on mobile soon, as well as more Assassin's Creed titles, and I'm sure other games as well, with these newer model phones that can run it. Some news for Call of Duty this week, starting with a tease at a new Call of Duty title, as the Xbox Game Showcase comes in June. Uh, with the Xbox Showcase game post, there was another image shown here that says direct and was described as a special deep dive into the next installment of a beloved franchise. From that image, people have noticed that it looks like a head of a three-headed dog, Cerberus, who guards the underworld. This head is also seen in Zombies maps in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and 4, and it's also the name of a hound in Black Ops 3. Along with this, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is seeing ranked play weapon evaluations. The playtest began on April 16th, running for a week, and they have introduced new weapons as people have been wanting more weapon variety, um, they also supposedly balance hipfire accuracy with assault rifles to favor SMGs in close combat. Season 3 Reloaded updates today, May 1st, um, which introduces new maps, game mods, uh, and more content for Warzone. So hopefully these changes are done well and liked by the community overall. And that's it for Gargle News. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe um, to see more of these. And we'll see you in the next video.